So hey everybody, I know it's been a while since we've been on here, um, but I just wanted to show you what we're doing today. I actually pulled these last night. These are all of our green onions. Um, we're going to chop them up and put them in the dehydrator. I'm going to show you how much we get and how we do it. Um, we've already got the Excalibur going. We've got basil and cilantro in there. I might have to bring out the little one. I don't know if I'm going to have enough room to put all these in it. But anyway, we just wanted to show you what we're doing today and let you guys know that hopefully we're going to try to start doing two videos a week. Um, it's been super busy around here with the garden and chicks and kids and animals and all that stuff. So it's kind of hard for me to do videos all the time. But like I said, I'm going to try to do a minimum of two a week. I can't promise you what they're going to be, but we're going to, we're going to try to make it happen. So um, we're going to take these in the house and start cutting them up and we'll bring you back in just a minute. Okay, so we're in the house and my daughter's cutting these up. Just with a pair of scissors, you can use a scissors or a knife, however you want to do it super simple. Um, we've washed the greens on these. We're not washing the bulbs because we've actually decided to replant them. Um, we cut them like this. We'll probably keep a couple of the bigger ones like this in here to go ahead and use this week, but some of them didn't get too big. We're going to go ahead and replant them. Um, but super simple. She's going to finish cutting them up and we'll get them on the dehydrator trays and we'll bring you back in a few minutes. Okay, so we've got them all cut up. We've got this big dish pan almost full. Um, now we're just taking them and putting them on trays and we're going to put them in the Excalibur dehydrator right there. Um, so we're going to get these loaded up and we'll time it for you guys and I'll let you know what temperature we put it on. So we're going to get this done. We'll bring you back in just a minute. Okay, so we've got all the trays filled up and we put it on 125 and I will time it for you guys and let you know how long it takes. Okay, so we ended up with three quarts of the dehydrated chives. Um, these are great for soups and stews and casseroles and whatnot throughout the winter. Um, we also did some basil out of the garden and we did some cilantro. So this is what we got yesterday that we dehydrated. But I just wanted to show you and show you guys how simple it is and what I'm gonna do. This one we'll probably use first and I'm gonna take, I have the vacuum sealer. I, uh, I have a video up on dehydrated kale where I showed you how I do that. We're gonna seal these. Um, that's it. Super simple, easy to put up, easy to store. I mean, you don't have to store them in jars. You can put them in um, bags and vacuum seal them however you want to do it. But, I mean, that's it, guys. Super simple, and um, we appreciate you watching. And like I said, we're going to try to do two videos a week, so I'm going to have one more coming out this week. Um, and if you like what you see here, feel free to like and subscribe, and we'll see you all soon.